everyone, it's Talia with Shelf Stuff, and I have a slightly different video for you today because I'm going to ask you to join the Shelf Squad for our Summer Reading Challenge. In this video, I'm going to talk about 10 different books that if you read or listen to an excerpt of any of them on the Shelf Stuff website, you will have the opportunity to win some awesome prizes. And every two weeks, one grand prize winner will win a Shelf Stuff prize pack, including a Shelf Stuff activity book, a Shelf Stuff pin, a Shelf Stuff tote bag, and a $50 gift card. So the link to the Shelf Stuff website will be in the description box below. Make sure to check that out so you can win all of these awesome prizes and more. And here's a quick rundown of the 10 books that are included in the Summer Reading Challenge. First, we have Just Jamie by Terry Levinson. This is a full-color graphic novel that follows two best friends, Jamie and Maya, on their last day of seventh grade. Jamie and Maya have been growing distant lately. Jamie feels like everything she does annoys Maya, and Maya feels like Jamie isn't quite as mature as she is. Now that it's the last day of seventh grade, Maya ends up doing something that completely breaks her friendship with Jamie. The rest of the book kind of goes through the aftermath of what Maya did, and how both of the girls deal with their friendship kind of falling out, and maybe seeing if that's the end of their friendship. And that's Just Jamie by Terry Levinson. Next is Brave Lands No. 1, Broken Pride by Erin Hunter. This is the first book in the Brave Lands series, which is an action-packed animal fantasy series by Erin Hunter, also known as the author of the Warriors series. For generations, the animals in Africa have only lived by one rule, and that is only kill to survive. But after an unthinkable act of betrayal, the natural balance between predator and prey lies with three unlikely heroes. The first is a lion cub cast out of his pride named Fearless. The second is a young elephant who can predict the future and read the bones of the dead named Sky. And the third is a baboon rebelling against his destiny named Thorn. That was Brave Lands No. 1, Broken Pride by Aaron Hunter. Next is Elemental's Ice Wolves by Amy Kaufman. This is the first book in the Elemental series, which is filled with fantasy, magic, and animals in action. The story follows twin 12-year-old orphans named Anders and Reyna. The twins learn they are actually Elementals. Elementals are rare people who have the ability to shapeshift between either an ice wolf or a scorch dragon. The problem is, ice wolves and scorch dragons are sworn enemies. So when Reyna turns into a Scorch Dragon and Anders turns into an Ice Wolf, Anders has to go against his new pack to try and help Reyna. And that was Elemental's Ice Wolves by Amy Kaufman. Next is Greystone Secrets number 1, The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. This is the first book in the Greystone Secrets series, which is filled with fantasy, magic, and mystery. In this book, the three Greystone siblings, Chess, Emma, and Finn, come home from school one day and hear a strange newscast talking about some other children that have been kidnapped. The weird thing is that these kidnapped children have the same names as the Greystone children, and they're also the same age. The very next day after the newscast, their mom leaves on an unexpected business trip and the siblings are left trying to piece together this huge mystery that surrounds them. Their mom's past, who are the other kidnapped children with the same name as them, and a lot more. And that's Greystone Secrets, The Strangers by Margaret Peterson Haddix. And next is Max Tilton Number 1, Fire the Depths by Peter Laurentius. This is the first book in the Max Tilt series, which is perfect for those of you who like adventure and being kept on the edge of your seat. In this story, 13-year-old Max has a lot of problems. His mom is sick, his dad is out of work, and his house is about to be foreclosed on. But one day, Max and his cousin Alex stumble upon an old, unpublished manuscript by Jules Verne. They realize that the book holds the key to a treasure that could save Max's house and his whole family. So Max and Alex set off on an adventure around the world to try and find the treasure. But it's not that easy, and they're not the only ones looking for it, so it becomes a race against time to see who's going to get to the treasure first. And that was Max Tilt number 1, Fire the Depths, by Peter Laurentius. Next is New Kid by Jerry Craft. 
This is a full-color graphic novel that follows 12-year-old Jordan Banks as he becomes the new kid at his school. Jordan loves to draw and really wants to go to art school, but his mom is convinced that he has to go to a fancy private school to get a good education. Jordan ends up having to go to this private school, and he realizes from day one that things are a little strange for him because he's actually one of the few black kids in the entire school. The book goes through Jordan's entire first year in the school, and you get to see just how much he changes from the beginning of seventh grade to the end. And that was New Kid by Jerry Craft. And next is Odd Gods by David Slavin and Daniel Weitzman, illustrated by Adam J.B. Lane. This is the first book in the Black and White Illustrated Odd Gods series. The series follows all of the unusual gods of Mount Olympus Middle School. In this book, Adonis, the oddball son of Zeus, really wants to win the race for class president. But he's up against a tough competitor because his own brother Adonis is also running. Adonis is the most popular, athletic, and handsome god at school, so Adonis doesn't really think that he has much of a chance to win. But with the help of his friends, Adonis is determined to prove that he is just as good as any other Greek god. And maybe, just maybe, along the way he'll find out what his true powers are. And that was Odd Gods by David Slavin, Daniel Weitzman, and illustrated by Adam J.B. Lane. Next is Orphan Island by Laurel Snyder. In this book, nine children, aging in range from toddler-ish to 12-ish, live on a perfect island. On the island, they have no worries, no adults, and no struggles. None of the kids on the island have ever known a life any different. Every year, on the day of the changing, a green boat appears out of the fog. And on the green boat is a new child that's going to be living on Orphan Island. When the boat comes, the child that's on it is always the youngest, and once they join the island, the oldest child on the island, or the elder, has to get on the boat and leave. Where the boat goes, nobody knows. So in this book, Ginny is now the elder on the island, so she's the oldest one, and she really doesn't want to leave. When the boat ends up coming and Ginny doesn't get on it, all of the orphans on Orphan Island have to deal with the otherworldly consequences. And that's Orphan Island by Laurel Snyder. Next is Wild Rescuers Guardians of the Taiga by gamer slash YouTuber Stacy Plays. This is the first book in the Minecraft-inspired series following a fictionalized version of Stacy and her wolf pack. In this book, Stacy is raised by the wolves in her wolf pack. As a group, they have to patrol the forest to keep all of the other animals safe. Stacy is used to taking care of things, but as the book goes on, strange things start happening in the forest. The forest begins changing, and new dangers pop up that Stacy and her wolf pack could have never prepared for. And that is Wild Rescuers number one, Guardians of the Taiga by gamer slash YouTuber Stacy Plays. And next is The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chanani. This is the first book in the fairy tale and fantasy inspired School for Good and Evil series. Our story begins with Sophie and Agatha, two very unlikely best friends who get enrolled in the School for Good and Evil. While at school, they'll be training to become characters in their very own fairy tales. As cool as this seems, the downside is that the beautiful, princess like, and blonde Sophie has been put into the School for Evil, and Agatha, who likes wearing wearing all black, lives in a graveyard, and hangs out with her cat, has been put into the school for good. The girls think that there has to be a mistake, but as they go along the school year, they start to learn things about themselves that they hadn't expected to learn. And that is The School for Good and Evil by Soman Chanani. So those are the 10 books that you are going to want to check out on the Shelf Stuff website. And don't forget to join the Shelf Squad for the Summer Reading Challenge. If you read or listen to an excerpt of any of the 10 books that I just talked about on the Shelf Stuff website, you will be entered to win some awesome prizes. So make sure to check out the website in the description to find out exactly how you can enter to join our Summer Reading Challenge. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single one of our videos. And if you're interested in any of the books on this list, make sure to hit that like button too. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.